Hi, my name is Don Bertucci. I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Business for the Chafee Joint Union High School District. Uh, I've worked for the uh, education system for 38 years and I've spent a majority of my career in the Chafee Joint Union High School District. We have uh, successfully passed a $848 million bond in 2012 and we are in the process of uh, updating all of the schools within the district. We have eight comprehensive high schools, a continuation school, a uh, online high school, and a variety of alternative education programs. When Measure P passed, uh, we soon began to realize that there was a lot more work to uh, conducting this program and, and using that $848 million plus potentially additional funds that we might receive from other sources in order to complete our facility master plan. But there was a need for us to do a number of things. One, we insist on transparency with our community. We want to make sure that we are doing long-range planning so that we can accomplish all of our goals. And we needed the ability to do that at a time where we, again, didn't have a lot of, of uh, general fund dollars that would be able to help us do that. We like to run a tight ship with as uh, effectively and efficiently as we can within the district. So uh, the minimal impact that we would have on our staff to try to make sure that we could get the information that we needed uh, was very critical. We know that the, there's, an, there's an important interaction between district staff and key analytics staff to make sure that we get the reports and, and the correct information that we need. But we also need to make sure that, uh, that the impact on doing each of those products is, again, as minimal as possible for our, for our existing staff because we didn't want to go out and actually have to hire additional full-time staff on a long-term basis uh, in order to make sure that we were able to meet all the requirements and the transparency that we wanted for our district and our students. Hi, my name is Mike Harrison. I'm the Director of Operations and Planning in the Chafee Joint Union High School District. My role in the program, specifically in the bond program, is administering the bond program and the relationship between uh, CFS and the CM on all of our construction projects and making sure everything is operating smoothly. Basically, uh, a two-legged stool or something to sit on doesn't work. You need triangulation, and that's what we have with all three uh, partners in this. We have the district, we have the uh, construction manager, and we have key analytics. I think that the willingness of the staff from key analytics to take the district and work with the districts uh, data information and adjust their program to what we were able to provide through our county system was a, a critical importance to us. Uh, we don't have a lot of control over how some of that data is presented back to us from the county and, and how we can get that out of the county system. The ability to, for us to, to review numbers in a way that isn't necessarily available to us from the county system uh, was very important to us as well. Well, I think the most seamless part is the uh, uploads, downloads from the county system, and as a result, uh, my accounting can look at that, verify that their numbers are the same numbers that she has in her spreadsheets, which is then verified with uh, construction management and what they have in their uh, in their system. There are districts that I uh, I'm familiar with that got ahead of themselves, right? And by that I mean they spent so much money in planning and when it came time to construction, they had issues with the construction. So uh, we don't get ahead of ourselves, right? So what we look at is our bond issuance, we look at the projects, and, and you have to look at the money in the bond in order to do those projects, right? So everything is uh, uh, with these timely reports, right? So that we know exactly where we are at probably every moment Right, because all of our POs are in there, any changes of the POs is uh, reflected in, in the financials. And so we, we generally, very hard to make a mistake. Everything's there. A bond program is extremely important and highly political program for the district. It is vital that there be uh, information that is fair and objective, available to the community, and that that Citizens Oversight Committee become really an extension of what the district is doing in, out in the community with all the people they meet on a daily basis. 
to have the relationship that we have with our, our community, again, the transparency, a lot of that is based on the documentation and the assistance that we get from uh, CFS and the ability to provide clear, readable, understandable documents um, that the layman can understand as well. The quality of the documents, the consistency of the documents, the the review of what they saw last time versus where things are during the, the during the current meeting and the current information they're receiving, all of that really helps make them feel. Uh, to become a valued partner in this process and I think that helps motivate our Citizens Oversight Committee to do everything that they can do uh, to make this bond program successful. Our Citizens Oversight Committee is engaged in our bond program. Uh, they care about each one of our school sites and I think that what they talk about is the information that they receive as part of this process actually has expanded their horizons so that they know far beyond what's just happening at maybe the school site that uh, that they live near or their son or daughter might have gone to or that they uh, that, that is with them in, in this part of the community but that it really has expanded them to be to be much more of a committee that's interested in the entire bond program for the entire district and I think that's important well for one thing as an assistant superintendent or uh, I have the ability to have some input but I'm not having to worry about on a moment by moment basis what would take me probably a number of full-time day equivalents just to come up with a report that that we provide to our citizens oversight committee on a quarterly basis i have the opportunity to review that make sure again it's consistent with the district goals and objectives and that the information that's contained is is appropriate and accurate from my perspective as the assistant superintendent but but most importantly it's it does, it's, my staff and I are not necessarily impacted on the actual development of the final product, so uh, our time is very valuable considering the, the limited number of staff that we have to, to work on the project. Actually, it's uh, decreased the workload because if I, um, if without CFS, just on the reporting to the oversight committee, the reporting to uh, uh, my assistant superintendent, it would increase my workload uh, considerably. So far, we have had a great success with our, with our program. Uh, we feel that the materials that we re receive that are shared with our bond oversight committee, uh, they could not be more thrilled with the, the clarity, the consistency, um, the ability for them to understand the material and the explanations that, that they get when they have questions. Uh, it's great to have, again, a, uh, a third party that can attend those meetings and help present a different viewpoint uh, that's still consistent with what the, the district goal and the message is. I've been very impressed with the, the uh, personal connections that district staff has with CSF staff in our entire bond program. Uh, we have the ability to contact them at any time, day or night, whenever we need assistance. They're very responsive and uh, I think that's the kind of relationship that we like to have with uh, all of our consultants in any kind of a program that, that uh, as we find the need and have a need for that personal interaction, then we need them to be available to us at the time that we need them and that's always been the case with CFS. It's just a great group of, um, of personalities and uh, companies that work together to make sure this bond program is seamless and uh, performs. And by perform, I mean uh, we're right now in our second year, basically second year, and we've got probably $120 million worth of construction projects going and have no problems at all. The public sees that, and uh, um, I would say the Oversight Committee is basically at every meeting is astounded that we have so many projects going on and they're all going smoothly.